the current Madison Square Garden, and they are 40 and 18. And the tip is controlled by Baylor. And they will try to throw a bunch of alley oops. Take a look at the Duke's starting five. Roach, McCain, Foster, Mark Mitchell, and Filipowski. Tyrese Proctor will not be available again tonight. That first jump shot is rattled home. Their opponent in those games played off of non-shooting bigs and just clogged the middle of the lane. Three ball right off of the inbounds pass. That was a point of emphasis for John Shire. Jacoby Walter knocks it down. And he was ready to shoot it when he caught it right from the catch spot. You want to make him catch it and dribble it, not catch and shoot. Roach launches. That's straight down. You know, the other teams that did it did it with rim protectors. And Jalen Bridges is not a shot blocker. He can still attack the rim. And Dennis threw that up there because Filipowski went over to him and he knew an offensive rebound. Again, a Duke backcourt player beats his man to the basket and lays it up and in. Foster first with the left hand, then his counterpart. Duke's pressure has been good to start this game. None tries to go by him. And a three-pointer is a line drive that finds the bottom. They set up Roach, he finds Filipowski. Three ball. Count it. Great pass from Filipowski to McCain. Filipowski again, he is doing a terrific job picking up the guards when they get by their guy and a chance for a run -up. Mitchell has it. Lays it up and in. Fantastic play by Filipowski. You can't get it, tip it to a teammate. Here he comes. He was thinking about going up hard, and he will now with the left because down on the ground went Ojon Wuda. 0 for 2 from 4 so far tonight is Dennis. That's a difficult fadeaway, but it finds the bottom, and maybe that'll get Ray J. Dennis going. Well, he, you know, Ray J. Dennis, we mentioned that he's a senior. He's from Plainfield, Illinois. Big, big Baylor contingent behind their bench, all standing now as the lead down to six. Good take on a blow by. Walter got beat. It's been awfully difficult for Baylor. They, they can't keep him out of the paint thus far in the game. Five on the shot clock, the drive. Oh, what a shot by Filipowski. Macy looked like he was absolutely going to block that. Well, Filipowski, the leading scorer. And has he been good all year long? Just getting it past the shot blocker. And a lot of them for Macy. Pull up, fade away, no good. Misi with the rebound, throws it up and in. On cue, Eve Misi. Another challenge shot, it's just Duke wasn't able to clean it up. Kyle Filipowski just got wet. And usually Jeremy Roach, very good at the end of the clock. Filipowski right at Misi, he denied him. And Baylor with a three can tie it. Well, what a bucket saving block by Misi. None. Misi! Eve Misi, welcome to the basketball game. And then on the other end, Misi getting inside position, and he knew what to do with it. Filipowski just able to push Misi under the basket. He was right there for that offensive board. Filipowski to spin move, the left, another block. Eve Misi. And Walter, corner three, count it. Jaden Nunn knocked down that three. Baylor's got a two point lead. And Roach throws it up over Misi. That's a tough shot, but a soft touch goes in, and we're tied. We have a left hand, and Jeremy Roach, so good off those pick and roll sits. Duke Filipowski sits here with 3.12 to go in half one. That was just an all created by Caleb Foster, went behind his back, and then the floater drops. Mark Mitchell's a really good player. He's such a valuable piece for this team because he can guard multiple positions. He's a good offensive rebounder. None threw it up there, and guess who's back? Eve Misi back into the game. And watch Misi when he rolls to the basket. When Filipowski goes to block that shot, there's nobody to rotate over. Anytime there's out of bounds underneath, Jacoby Walter's got to be the first thing you look for. There he comes off the screen, wide open. Good call, Jay, and the three buries it. Different look, trying to free up Walter, who gets the ball in the corner, but this time he is met quickly by McCain. Now he drives the left, pretty reverse. Baylor's three-point lead, the largest that they've had tonight. Mitchell picked up his second foul, and the follow-up by Mitchell. Foster was in that lane, almost looked like he was in slow motion. 
Difficult finger roll, no good. Follow up and in, tapped in. It looked like Bridges who got his left hand on it. Lepowski leads the break. No foul, but the bucket is made. Good take, Jared McCain. 15, 28 to go. Second half, first of three games tonight on ESPN. Dennis, pretty play, finger roll right over Young. But I would, I would love to see where that would change, where the defense gets it. Another line drive three that falls for Jalen Bridges. Jalen Bridges gets that little screen coming off, sets his feet. Up by three with the ball. And that shot was a difficult one, taken without really a pass. All the way across, Walters three. That finds the bottom. Still able to make it, Jacoby Walter, that cross-court pass. Shooting it from the catch spot, deadly. Were there any must-see guys to you growing up? Oh, yeah. I mean, UCLA was must-see. Right. And I grew up in Los Angeles. Good pass. Really good. And two knees. But he draws two defenders. And then Mark Mitchell just right there. A really good pass. But he, Roach, and McCain all in double figures for the Blue Devils. Got the switch. Now Dennis being guarded by Filipowski. And the floater goes. Pretty play. Filipowski one-on-one with Ojanwa. And he takes it to the rack and lays it up with his left. A little more active. But that action, those handoffs up top, are just to get the matchup that Baylor wants. McCain, he's got Filipowski wide open. He's got the last four. Oh, that pick and roll action. Bridges claimed he didn't hit him hard enough and there's no foul called. Good ball fake, and that three finds the bottom. A bunch of baskets as a driver. Well, that's really going to open some things up for him. He's up to 18. That was that effort to throw it up off the iron and have Misi get it. Polakowski gets good position. Backs in Bridges, and he throws it up and in. Part of a 9-0 run injury. He's back in the game. He's got four blocks, one shy of a career high. A take right into Filipowski, and you'll count the basket. Clogs things up if you want to drive. McCain's got 18. It's Foster with five. Behind the back, pretty play. Lays it up and in. Second time he's gone behind the back to create a layup. And Loner Walter, you don't want to let him get back to his right hand. A really nice drive by Caleb Foster. Just showing. Roach and Young go back into that two-man game. He pulls up and knocks it down. Jeremy Roach to 13 points. And we'll continue to let Jeremy Roach have opportunities in pick and roll. Young had a lane. He kicks three. Big one, and that one goes down. Great. Arizona, they didn't close out against Georgia Tech on the road after Tyrese Proctor got hurt. Didn't close out the game at Arkansas. Roach all the way. He's been dominant down the stretch. Jeremy Roach. The speed. I mean, changing speeds. Jeremy Roach has just had a spectacular season. It's everything you want in a senior. His leadership has been great. He's made so many great decisions, and especially getting to that right hand as often as possible. Dennis, three. That's good. Right in front of the bench, and they'll get a timeout. Will Baylor. Been excellent. Love given the lane, and he lays it up and lays it in. Duke will dribble it out. They come into Madison Square Garden and win again. A home away from home proves to be the place to turn things around. They are 41 and 18 in their last 60 games at Madison Square Garden as they beat Baylor 78 to 70.